I'm me big dumb. Okay, so we're actually gonna start now. Oh yeah. <laughs> my gosh. Where the where, where the, you'll recap? It'll be fine. <laughs> or will I? <laughs> Go. Yeah, just jump. Right <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, so where we left off last, uh, you guys got to the underground city uh, that is the base of the Platinum Dragon. Um, you met Sergid, one of the guards who you've kind of helped rescue in the woods, uh, and you went down in search of the blacksmith while he went to go prep the elders for your audience. So you right. guys are right in front of the blacksmith shop right now. Did so, we ever discuss uh, with the character time jump how much muns we have? Uh, that is actually something we did not discuss. So first dice roll for me. Ooh. All right. Also, Dan, we just had a discussion ourselves as well over some locations of characters. Old. Uh, oh. Over. Oh. Sorry. Over. <laughs> All right. So I'll do this one character at a time. Uh, Oman, you have one gold piece. I'm broke. <laughs> Five <laughs> silver pieces. And 13 copper pieces. Holy shit, I'm broke as fuck. Yeah, you are. Uh, Can I keep my 250 gold that I've gotten written here? I was going to say, I had written 350 in gold. And I was like, yeah, oh, yeah, was that was from, gold. Oh that my was god. From 10 years ago, folks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, interest, it's probably grown. <laughs> The yeah the, Wait, the how, how much copper again? Sorry, I was thir crying. Thirteen copper pieces. Thirteen copper. All right, and yeah. then how much? Uh, how much? Um, silver. Uh, oh yeah, I got the silver. But how much gold actually? <laughs> I'm only rolling a D four for for gold pieces there. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. GDM. What's the oh, red? All right, Garius. Ruining have... the economy. Yeah, was there a recession in those ten years? Three gold pieces, <laughs> uh, two silver pieces, and thirteen copper pieces. Sorry, three gold. Three gold, two silver, two silver and thirteen, 13 copper. copper. Yep. Uh, you know Eric. that per day I have to spend two gold just to maintain myself because I'm middle class, right? So instantly I'm dead. That's fine. You can uh, you can do you some side jobs while you're in here. Uh, Eric, two. Is there a two brothel gold, nearby? Yep. Four silver, <laughs> fifteen copper. Also broke. Typical musician. <laughs> and then Bran, three gold, five silver, eighteen copper. All right, it's definitely a downgrade on the three hundred and fifteen I had. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, I'm, also, something good. I'm also gonna try to stack prices and stuff like it actually is in the books, not like right. <laughs> all that baby food for baby rock. <laughs> okay, cost a lot of money. All them nappies cost a lot of so, money. <laughs> you guys are right in front of the blacksmith shop. Um, also, all around you is the entire shopping district. So you see general stores, you see restaurants, you see like. Uh, can't even think of the word I'm trying to think of here. Uh, like apothecaries, sell herbs and medicines and potions and stuff like that. Everything is around you guys. There's shops like everywhere. So uh, you guys feel free to go. I'm going to go to the... Are we started recording? Yeah. A long time ago. We don't need an intro. intro. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> yeah. The apothecary. I'm going to head over there, and I'm going to see if they have a hummingbird feather. A hummingbird feather, okay. Uh, is Are you is, are you just going alone? Or... Sure. <laughs> All right, so it's without saying anything, Bran just separates himself from the group and walks away. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute, guys. <laughs> no, so you already walked feathers. away. You already walked away. You don't get to say <laughs> anything. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have any? Uh, let's see here. <laughs> yes, they they have they ten. Do. They have ten. They have ten. How much are they? Uh, that would be two copper a piece. Ooh, I'll take five. All right, 
minus 10 copper from your bunnies. Add five hummingbird feathers. And I know they're just going to be for his hair. Not the first spell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so while they're, they're actually first spell. the carry, what are the other three of you doing? Uh, I'm going to go I'm, ahead uh, and try to meet that the blacksmith. blacksmith. Okay. Yeah. Oh, apparently we go together. All right, Eric, what are you doing? Do you want to hold hands, or is that not a thing? Mmm, plastic pushers. <laughs> 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 Oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Eric, yeah, are you also going to the blacksmith, or are you just kind of chilling there? You got your uh, your guitar out. Just... Ruffle. Ruffle! <laughs> 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 All right. So, of course, the bard uh, makes his push way it. to the closest brothel. <laughs> yeah. Cause that, I've noticed that all of you guys have just gone, and I'm left alone, and I'm just like... <laughs> Alright, so, so so Eric, you get to the door of the brothel, you open it up, and uh, a woman kind of looks down at you and goes, Oh, honey, are you lost? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I've come for your services. Have you no know I'm of age? I'll need to see some ID. Very well. I mean, what can I use for ID? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And she just goes, well, hot damn. Come on in. Woo! <laughs> all right, Steve, subtract all the money from your... Uh, <laughs> from your all account. the money! <laughs> <laughs> all right. While that's happening, uh, cut to Garius and Oban, who have now walked into the blacksmith shop. Am I actually taking away all my money? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Don't tell the DM you're going into a brothel without expecting consequences. <laughs> True. <laughs> I'm actually um, I'm gonna walk through the front door of the blacksmith. Does he look well off? Like he's got a lot of gold on hand and stock of his own that he try trade and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, the you you uh, get in, everything is clean and polished. You see plenty of high tier weapons just on the walls, plate armor and everything like that, and. He's just sitting behind the counter, just tinkering with a with a chest plate right now. Uh, he looks like he's pretty well off. Lovely. I walk straight up to the front and I go, You look like just the man I've been looking for. I have some items I'm wishing to sell. I mean, hold on for a while. What, Do you uh, buy? While you're trying to talk to him, while he's still tinkering with the thing, he just kind of holds up a finger right in your face. <laughs> and he's just one last little adjustment and mwah, done all right what can i do for you did you hear anything of what i just said did you not see i was working uh ex excuse my friend here um we were uh we were recommended to you by sergid he said to ask oh, for you sergid i have not seen him in many moons how is my old friend he's well uh it could be better but he'll live what happened to him? You tell me now. Uh, well... He had a, a run-in with a dragon, and, uh... You and don't need both that, legs that to his live, job. I guess. He go fight the dragons. Yeah. What, what, what is his problem? Uh, I've seen stomach, many fighters kind of be problem. quite good with only three fingers. Let me just put that out there. He'll be fine. <laughs> oh, he lost fingers. It's about time. And he holds up his other hand, and he's missing three fingers on his left hand. <laughs> <laughs> How do you blacksmith like that? Very carefully. I'm Just really good with rolls. writing. W. <laughs> <laughs> writing. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry, this is just reminding me of the well? meme, like, when hold a pistol like this for fear of <laughs> shooting more <laughs> enemy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my oh, gosh, God. you're right. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So he, he, he Do you buy like, equipment as well? Uh, no, I don't buy anything. I only make repair fix. I have no need for anybody else's equipment. My equipment vest. 
do you modify you know equipment? Anyone who buys equipment around here? Uh, you go to General Shop or Pawner down the street, and you, Dragon Thing, I do modify. You take a look at these uh, these wraps here, these gauntlets. Is there any way that we can make them a little more, um, a little more violent? And it, it just looks up and says, "You want more violence out of it? I like you." Specifically, if they could be suited to fighting a dragon, we're probably going to be going after the one that Sergid uh, had a brush in with. Oh, okay. Uh, you give me two silver, one copper. Come back in four hours. Done deal. Yo, you said two silver, one copper? Two silver, one copper. You. Do you have any warding equipment by any chance? Rings or amulets or anything that can protect me? Mm, not in this shop. I just deal specifically weapons and armor. You go three doors down, magic item shop. I'm just going to summon my sword. I'm good on the weapon department. Let it disappear and just walk out. He looks to uh, old man and says, I don't like your friend very much. Uh, I didn't like him for a long time either. Believe it or not, he tried to convince me for a very long time that I was dead. He's pretty interesting. You sound crazy. I'm still walking out at this stage. So I've, I've heard all of this. And as I'm walking, I'm just going to shout back, I'm an acquired taste. And just keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> he just, uh, blacksmith says, okay, fair. All right. Yeah. Dra dragon, you come back. Dragon half thingy, you come back four hours. Alrighty, I will see you in four hours. Thank you very much. Duh. And I guess I'm just gonna leave after Gaddius. Okay. My, I'm heading to the so, general store to start with. Okay, at this point when you walk out, uh, Bran kind of walks back uh, to the group with his uh, hummingbird feathers in hand. Hey guys, what'd you buy? Uh, I am getting a nice little upgrade for those gloves that you saw that are brand new. Ooh. Fancy. Hopefully make them a little more dragony, killy sort of thing. I managed to buy some hummingbird feathers, so that's fun. What? For what? Why? It's a new spell that I've been solely working on. Um, I need them to basically see the near future. No big deal. To the... What does that mean? What? It's, it's foresight. I can see the near future. How far in the near future? Uh, let me just check. <laughs> <laughs> the immediate future. <laughs> five, five, five seconds in the future. So, the present. <laughs> <laughs> I the can present, see the future as but it's in happening. the future. <laughs> <laughs> so, what you're telling me is that when you're in combat, you'll be able to see the arrow flying towards your face. Yeah, and know it's going to kill you a second before it kills. What does that grant you right now? What? what I can why? step out the way. Uh, Eric, I need you to roll me three Constitution checks, please. Oh my! <laughs> oh. <laughs> three. Okay. So how are you going to uh, stop the arrow? I'm built different. <laughs> <laughs> can I actually read you the description for it? Eleven. Uh, in a second. Why am I? Is this a constitution save or just regular? Just a check. So it's just your yeah. uh, roll plus your constitution modifier. Okay. 11, 16, and... Ooh, 21. 21? Mm. All right. So uh, you're still in the brothel. All right. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> Am I able to gather information while in said brothel? Uh, yeah. Uh, Nothing that we want to know. While Bran is explaining his thing, go ahead and uh, roll me two perception checks, please. So the description for it is, you touch a willing creature and bestow a limited ability to see into the immediate future. For the duration, the target can't be surprised and has an advantage on attack rolls, ability checks, and saving throws. Additionally, other creatures have disadvantage on attack rolls against the target for the duration. The spell immediately ends if you cast it again before the duration ends. What's the duration on that? The immediate future. <laughs> 
right now. <laughs> what does that um, mean? I'm assuming in game he didn't uh, just like go into robot mode and explain that. So after he's just said, you know, I can dodge the arrow, I'm just gonna go, oh, okay. Brad actually you. pulled out his player yeah. handbook. <laughs> 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 Let me just tell you what I can do. I'm just gonna like nod wanna... and go, oh, you? great. I'm going to slap you. <laughs> And Would you like to test gonna this me, new gonna ability? Take a swing and try and hit him. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I got 13 and 16, by the way. 13 and 16. Okay, awesome. Um, I'm going to type you a private message in Discord. Ooh. Ooh. Duration is eight hours. Oh, nice. Holy shit. Not bad. I got some juicy like gossip. Wow. Thing, though? Like, is it... Once you've seen the future once, it cancels out, or is it just continuous for that eight hours? I think, and let me put a little reference here, it's like using uh, what's the metal called in Miss Barn where they can just see a little bit into the future. Oh, um... ATM? 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 ATM. Uh, ATM. Yep. ATM. So basically, you can yeah. just see the immediate future throughout them eight hours. Like, you can see what's going to happen That's in okay. the... You know what I mean? So for eight hours, you just make one of us have advantage on every attack and disadvantage for every enemy attack against us. Correct. It's That's a level insane. 9 spell. We have a, just a wild shroom trip for 8 hours. It's a busted spell. It's... Into all their possibilities. Yeah. Yeah. It's a level 9 spell. Like, it basically... Like, you can see what's going to happen. Yeah. You can it's see what's going to happen. Spell. Holy yeah, it is. That's going to be really good for combat. Yeah. Either way, I've tried to slap you, so... <laughs> Yeah, also bards can learn it. And wizards and warlocks. But anyway. <clears throat> Alright. Sent you the message, Steve. Ooh. Can I roll for an attack mark? Uh, I will allow mm -hmm. it. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say that. Ooh. Lovely. Ooh. Is this an unarmed strike or you full on have like your sword out? Oh no, unarmed strike. I'm just going to slap him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, that's the 18? Nope. Ooh. Your hand bounces off a twig in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Does he dodge out of the way though, or do I just like not hit him hard? Uh, you get like that close to his face. You just happen mm. to miss. Does he flinch at all? Yeah. So I look at him because go, I can see the immediate. I told feature. you in advance I was going to do that. <laughs> yeah. I told you in advance I was going to do that. Didn't do anything. Don't worry about that. I, I knew it was going to happen. Walk off and go back towards the store. I knew it was going to happen. My tail I'm just gonna... is just flinging so furiously behind me as it's just like angry cat flinging around the place. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay, so... All right, uh, so we need to go meet the dude. Right, My voice so went weird. Then. First, uh, Garius walks into the magic item shop a few doors down. And you see... Uh, a... I was going to the general goods store. Oh, first. the general goods? Okay, sorry. Uh, okay, so yeah, you just walk into the general goods store. You see a couple people shopping around. Uh, walls are lined with just like normal stuff. You see food, you see uh, like camping supplies, uh, housewares, everything. Lovely. Um, can I just walk up to the counter and just turn to whoever's behind it and go, I've been led to believe you buy equipment. Uh, you see a woman turn around and she goes, yeah, we buy all sorts of stuff. Perfect. I'm going to start going through my armor and just like opening random pockets and just building a pile of stuff. I mean, like, where's that gun back back here? And just pull it up. And I'm just going to slowly unload all the crap in my inventory that I don't actually use or want. Okay. I don't know why I have half this stuff. I don't know where I got it from. But um, there's a blowgun, two hand axes. Um, What else do I have? A short bow, a short sword. A small knife, uh, a blue quartz, two blue quartz actually, uh, an antitoxin. Don't know where I got that from. For some reason, I have an abacus as well. I can get rid of that. Uh, I assume I'll need the book for something, so I'll keep that. A little bag of sand. That can go out the door. A little bag of sand. 
up a bag of sand just to- Pocket oh, no. sand! <laughs> Pocket sand! Yeah! He was just sitting there. Yes. <laughs> okay, is that is yeah, that everything? That was that was that is everything. I've got an okay. amethyst, but I'll keep that for now. I feel like it'll be useful later. Alright. Uh give me a couple seconds to get some prices on these things, so bear with me. Uh, your uh, characters can talk, Why do I have a talk amongst gun? yourselves for a moment. Yep. Right. Um, you guys just see me st but stacking shit on top of each other from random pockets. While he's doing that, I heard that there was a shop that sells magic items. I don't know about you, Bren, but that's where I'm headed. I like to take a little cheeky look. Really hope. Really hope. They have something. A little more substantial than these stupid little darts that I have. It'd be great if I could find something to just really... Yeah. Really, ha! Huh. Yeah. Okay. It'd be nice if Are I could try out a block now. Hmm? You guys need to sell anything while we're here? You could make some money. I don't really have anything Oh, we didn't go with you. I don't think so. No, you well, didn't I come didn't. with me as well. I walked in by myself yeah. today. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I'm going to the magic. Okay. So, That's my next stop. Garius, the girl kind of goes through, looks at everything, just inspects it, makes sure it's in decent quality condition. She looks at the bag of sand and she just goes, no. And just puts it, like, shoves it back at you. Um, she says, well, everything here looks half decent. Uh, the quartz is... Uh, in uh, really good condition there, so that's uh, 10 silver by itself, but uh, everything, I can do 16 silver pieces and 8 copper. The recession. Oh, the sil <laughs> the blue quartz is worth like 10 gold pieces in my book. What the fuck? Like, hey, I gotta make money off this. I'm having a laugh right now. <laughs> I gave you two pieces of blue quartz, 10 gold piece of each. You want 10 silver for the lot? No, no, no. Try again. I offer. I at least want some gold in my hand. I'm really upset I deleted everything from my lineup because I'm not going to sell you that stuff. You can get stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to angrily put everything back in and just stare you down the entire time. I'm going to leave the bag of sand. Look at you. Yeah. Look at the bag of sand. And then just leave it there and walk off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so minus one bag of sand from your inventory. Yep. Can you also, um, can you DM me all the stuff I just mentioned? Because, yeah, I deleted it. And yeah. You just buy it all. Uh, <laughs> I got you. Gone now. Minute. Yeah. I'll DM it to you. Uh, as you walk out the door, though, uh, you feel uh, all that sand uh, just pour over your head. He walks up behind you and just pours it on you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just mm -hmm. says, you're not welcome back here. Mm -hmm. Oof. As I walk out the door, I'm just going to summon Raven's mm. Talon and just hold it just above my shoulder just so that as I walk out, it clips the roof and the doorway and just damages the building a little bit. <laughs> Oops, oh. I slipped. All and right. just let it disappear again. She sees this happen, oh. and she just chuckles under her breath and whistles. And from the back room, you see this huge, burly man just kind of walk over to you. And he just kind of looks down at you. And mind, this person's like like eight foot, eight foot tall. And just says, uh, you're going to pay for that damage, right? One second. My good sir, I'm going to put my hand in his shoulder and cast Charm Person at level 5. Oh, oh it's getting worse. <laughs> it's a disaster. <laughs> this, is, this is getting weird. All right, hold on a second. You said you're casting Charm per Person as a 5th level? Yep. All right, give me two seconds here. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see. He's got to make a wisdom saving throw. Of 19. Of 19. Okay. Well, I'm going to roll the good dice here. 
<laughs> um, apparently, because I'm doing it at fifth level, I can target more than one creature. So I'm going to aim for the woman I was talking to Ooh, as well. Okay, so and just tag them both with this. All right, so this one's going to be for the big dude uh, and that. So big dude just kind of takes a couple fingers and moves her hand off his shoulder. And he goes, nice try. But uh, the woman's like, you can go back out back. We don't need we, we we don't need you right now. He's he's good. It was an accident. See you, buddy. He just kind of just goes <laughs> goddamn magic user. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst I've got a charmed, it's gonna turn to her one more time. Are you sure you can't sweeten that deal just a little bit for me? <laughs> And you see her face just kind of blush, just go, ah. Well, I suppose I can offer you five gold for the lot. I'll take it. Why not? No more adding items. I'm safe. <laughs> All right. I'll take my gold. Thank you very much. All right. I'll go ahead and add that to your uh, inventory. And you just walk yep. out. And then I'm going <laughs> to... As I walk out, I'm going to quickly cast Mask of Many Faces and make myself look like a random human, just in case she realizes what happens in a couple of seconds. Okay. Uh, you walk out the door, and <laughs> after, like, just a couple seconds, uh, you just hear a woman scream, Son of a bitch! <laughs> and just rushes out the door and starts looking around. It's like, where'd he go? <laughs> he went that way. Over there. And she just like, I point in a random sprints direction. off in that direction. <laughs> and the DM will remember this. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> With it. I'm rich. <laughs> All right. I'm going to follow them the other two into the magic store. Okay, Hell yeah. Awesome. Magic store. Okay. Magic items. Uh, all right. So, all three of you are going into the magic store. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Eric, at this point, you're just finishing up uh, in the brothel. You kind of waddle out the door, just big shitting, <laughs> eating grin on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Is that that the um, in Toy Story two when he comes out the box like? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do i know where the guys are do i actually can i meet up with them uh you just see uh you just see them enter a shop uh close by to you so you sprint over to catch up with them yeah will do your tiny little legs <laughs> <laughs> all right so all my four, good man <laughs> all four of you uh walk into the magic shop now uh it is empty except for the shop owner which uh looks like just your classic wizard old guy in a robe with a big white beard hello there have you uh why is the shop empty he he, he uh he kind of looks up and he just puts his hands to his ears he goes what and he said why why is the shop empty sorry say that again <sighs> Oh, for the love of... I'm going to drop Mask of Many Faces and then use Thaumaturgy to boom <laughs> through the room. Why is the shop empty? And he just kind of looks at you and goes, No need to shout! <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> and he uh, he, uh, he kind of reaches up to his ears and uh, you see just like a little bit of um, a wave in the air as he casts a spell of some kind over his ears and he goes oh I forgot that I hadn't used this spell today <laughs> sorry about that boys <laughs> what can I do for you we're just wondering why why is the store empty oh I haven't heard anybody all day so that's probably why to be honest <laughs> Fair can enough. we see what you have for sale Ah, everything you see is for sale, except for me, of course. That's slave. That's a. That's a. That's human slavery. <laughs> when you said the shop was <laughs> empty, you meant like items as well, or just people? 
Well, there's no other people in here, so everything you see on the walls or on the counters, it's all for sale. Okay. Ooh, do I see thing? any? Uh, do I see any throwing weapons of any kind? Let's see. Let's I thought you meant empty, as in like there was nothing on the shelves when no, you no, went no, first like, and I'm like, empty people is what I meant. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just a dark. It's just a, it's just a room, room and a guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's been rolled blind through the day. With <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, give me just a moment. I'll make it. Uh, let me get a list of items here. I can't yeah. freaking type. All right. Um, all right. So Oman, as you are looking around, you see all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, you see weapons, armor, necklaces, armlets, robes, boots. Um, you do see uh, a pair of small throwing hatchets that are up on the wall in like a, a cross formation um but those are the really the only th small throwing weapons that you do see um there's like long swords and axes and stuff but nothing small okay so i'm pretty sure i know how this is gonna go but would those be considered uh under the class of monk weapons uh ooh, good. i don't know if there's any specification on that i don't think so let me look at the Probably not, but I figure it's worth at least asking. Yeah, none of these are considered monk weapons. It's just their normal weapon type, but they're also magic items, so I don't know. They're probably not. Yeah. Uh, anyway, though. Um, sir, um, those axes, what do they do? And he, uh, he looks over to the wall and he kind of shuffles over and he like squints his eyes and goes, Oh, the axes. Okay. Uh, let me show you. And uh, he pulls them off the wall and um, he kind of waves a hand at the opposite wall and you see just a small drawing of a, of a target appear on the wall. Uh, and he just like, you see this old, this old frail man is getting ready to throw an axe and he's like squinting his eyes and goes, you might want to move out of the way just in case I miss. <laughs> then I'm just gonna back up. <laughs> uh, so he throws. Actually, I should probably roll for this. Oh, actually, no. Okay. What? Are, uh, oh god. I, I rolled a twenty. It's fine. Uh, he bullseyes <laughs> the first axe right into the wall, and uh, he holds up the other one in his left hand. You see, you see this axe right here. Mm, yes. Yeah. And he just lets go of it, and it just flies straight where the other axe is, and lands right next to it. They're pretty good. Interesting. That I'm going to whisper to old man in the air. Don't forget, this guy is a wizard. He could be playing tricks. I suppose, but those axes are really cool. They can are really I try cool. that real quick? Can I, can I try doing the... Hmm? Yeah, feel free. All right. Can I detect magic while he does it? You're in yeah. a magic you shop. You cast detect magic, and you're just overwhelmed with the amount of magic in this shop. And you, in you instantly get a migraine and just drop to the floor. That backfired. The wizard looks over as you drop to the floor. Chick, you just cast detect magic in a magic shop. I am a bit of an idiot. <laughs> Serves you right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anyway, Oman, you have the axes now. So I'm gonna try because I don't exactly know. Um, can I throw these in quick success? Like, it, it, do these throw in one turn, or is it yeah one turn? So okay. it's it's a one turn attack. Yeah, it's a one turn. Yeah, you get one. You, you throw the first one, and after it lands wherever it lands, you can just let go of the other one, and it will go directly next to that one. All right, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Just whoo. all right. Roll a d20. Just a straight d20. Fifteen. Okay, not quite a bullseye, but you hit uh, near close to the center of the target with the first one. Then just and just gonna let go. Whoop. And just flies right at the wall and lands right next to the other one. 
Pretty cool. Fantastic. How much are these? Uh, let's see here. He uh, pulls out an old dusty book from uh, under the counter and he just starts flipping through the pages. Just... Let's see here. A for axes should be right near the beginning. Oh, wait a second. They're throwing axes, so I got to go all the way to T. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's fantastic. This, this continues for about 10 minutes as you just he goes one page at a time through his book. <laughs> and finally he goes, okay, the throwing axes. Uh, let's see here. Those are going to be... Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Uh, looks like two gold pieces and one silver hmm so I'll be very honest with you uh, I'm currently a little low on funds I can give you a gold piece and then I can make up the difference any other way that you'd like if you have any work for me if we can work something out uh, out of character you're because you're half dragon, you have scales, yes? I do indeed. All right. Uh, wizard kind of looks you over and goes, all right, give me uh, give me one gold, and if it's not too much trouble, I'd like three of your scales. Any particular area that they need to come from? Nope, just any three. I'm not asking right. for your ass scales. <laughs> <laughs> There's some weird people, let me tell you. But, um, sure, we have a deal. Mm. And I'm just going to attempt to yank out three from... Oh, boy. Um, I suppose I'm going to try to take them from, like... Your belly button. <laughs> or... <laughs> um, I'm going to try to take three from my tail. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll me just a straight strength check. Uh, with with strength modifier. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sixteen. Okay, so you pull the first one out, no problem. You just kind of wince a little bit as it as you pull it out. Uh, roll the second one. Eight. <laughs> you you start tugging. That one's stuck. Just kind of <laughs> it's like, God, son of a bitch. Can this I pull harder? <laughs> yes. Roll, roll strength again. Yes, this is very painful. <laughs> oh, nat 20. Uh oh. Right. You rip it out like a band aid, and you don't even feel the pain for a second, and then it just kind of hits you all at once. <laughs> just... <laughs> is this like plucking a hair off here or what? Worse. It's worse. No, way worse. Yeah. It's, it's, it's more like, it's like ripping, ripping a. a Nail I just, off. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I want those axes. And I, I'm going to go for the third one. All right. One more. Okay. 18. Okay. And you pull that one out as well. And the the wizard uh, kind of walks over and he pulls like a small vial out of his uh, out of his robe. And he goes, may I? Here, here you go. And uh, he goes, he bends over to where you pull them out of your tail and just puts a single drop of the vial on there, pain vanishes instantly. Oh. What is that? Uh, it's just a little something I keep on my person at all times. That is fantastic. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Uh, don't be surprised if you just fall asleep later. <laughs> That'll be fine. In the middle of a battle. Just... <laughs> <laughs> After you say that, I'm going to quickly try and turn to, like, Eric, and just out of the sound of my mouth, go, quickly, go to the general store and find anything sticky you can. We'll use it later. And just kind of, like, stand up straight again. I'm sorry, but I have no money. <laughs> I'm going to slip him a gold piece. <laughs> Anything we can stick to the dragon when he falls asleep. Okay, I'm just going to take it go, and like go. slowly back out of the... <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to go to the store and find something. <laughs> 
All right. Uh, go ahead and oh gosh, so I gotta look up the currency. I love that this whole episode is pretty much just a shopping episode. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're yeah. Yeah. Shopping. Oh. Shopping. As soon as he said it, it's just like a, a shopping district. So I just went. Whole episode in the freaking shopping district. The buys go shopping. (laughs) We're heading to the pub next. That's going to be a time. (laughs) That guy's probably just like, where the hell are they? Like, holy cow. (laughs) It's fine. Um,. All right, so uh, Stee, Gary, I slipped you a copper to go get something sticky. Uh, we're going to break that down. In... Oh, no, I gave him a gold. I gave him a gold. <laughs> a gold? I want okay. to go all out. Uh, we're going to exchange that for 100 <laughs> silver pieces, uh, and you're going to you're gonna come back with uh, 99 silver pieces and a, and a, a vial of uh, clear glue. <laughs> yeah. Um. Gonna like hold my hand out for everything. Yeah, I'm just gonna, without still looking. I'm just gonna pass in the glue. I'm gonna take it. And the change. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Uh, Steve, roll me a stealth check real quick. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, what is my stealth? Ooh. Oh. Uh. That is a thirteen. A thirteen. Uh, you pocket two silver. Thank you. Ooh. You motherfucker! <laughs> cool. Um, whilst we're in the store, still, can I then uh, turn to the shopkeeper? Just say to him, "Do you have any rings of warding or amulets available for us?" Let's see. I'm always doing that. I'm just gonna go pick up. A- Kind of pick the axe off of the wall. Yeah. And just kind of slot them on my person. Ooh, I got new, I got a Excuse new toy. All righty. So uh, on the wall, you do see some exact. Uh, Sorry, not exact. Uh, the amulet that you uh, were given by Surgid, two of you, um, you see the exact same amulets on the wall. Uh, there's a lot of them. There's like a dozen. So the dragon warding amulets. Who who got one of them again? I gave one to Eric, right? I think yeah. Oman has the other one. Yeah, Eric's sure. got one and yeah. Oman has the other one. Yeah. yeah. So we could do one. Do you have any other, other items? Well... Didn't Sergey said he'd give us one each? We don't need to buy it here. Yeah. He did say that. Do you have anything else for us? Any other uh, items? Let's see. Uh, he pulls out a. It doesn't small, have to be for warding. A small glass. Anything case at all? It's pretty. And opens it in front of you, and it's just filled with mag- magic rings and a bunch of slots. There's like probably twenty or thirty rings in here. Anything in particular you're looking for? Hmm. <laughs> Anything that's seven gold or less. What do you got for me? All right, let's see. Do, 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 do. While we're at it, do you have any health potions we can buy as well of any class, or any other potions that could be good? I got potions of plenty. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to see what rings we got. Uh... Very expensive. Oh, okay. Uh, so he says you have seven gold. What do I got here for rings? Uh, these rings of protection are only two gold a piece. Uh, uh, out of game that gives you a plus one bonus to AC uh, and to any saving throws as well. That's pretty cool. I'll take one of those. Okay. Um, I think I'll take Ring one as well. Actually. Okay, each of you subtract two gold. I haven't yeah. actually got any rings, I don't think. Yeah, this is my only one. Ring of protection, is it? Yep, ring of protection plus one. So it'll give you a plus one bonus to your AC and then give you a plus one to all of your saving throws. Yeah, love it. My AC is 21 now. Nice. Ooh. Damn. 
Uh, also, Mark, I just took a look. Um, uh, even though it's not a monk weapon, um, it's it's still hand throwing axes are simple weapons, right? Yeah, and they're also okay. going to be classified as ranged weapons, so it use dexterity anyway for your attacks with them. So. Oh, I was I was just checking for proficiency, and oh, yeah, gotcha. apparently monks monks are still proficient, so we're good. Okay, cool. Oh, wait, can you send me the info and on those? Uh, yes, I will DM you <laughs> the info on those. Give me just a second. Thank you. Uh, also, he pulls out a... Well, not pulls out, but uh, on the wall next to him, there's a small curtain. He pulls back, and there's just a, a couple shelves worth of potions. Uh, I have standard health potions for uh, for five copper apiece. Well, they buy potions. I'm going to go peek right for above. Oh, <laughs> I'll see you guys. <laughs> I'll be right back. Tiny bladder. Yep. Any potions of greater healing available? Poison uh, protection. Let's see. Superior got, potion oh, by any chance? Cocked here. Uh, he's got three potions of greater healing. Uh, those are going to be <laughs> one silver each. Uh, and then. What was the other one you were asking for? The. Superior healing. Superior. And he's got one of those five silver. I'll take them all. So all it's right. one superior and three greater? Yep. Add them to your inventory. Subtract uh, eight silver. Woo. All right. And Dan, I'm writing you down the info for these. Crap. Thank you. Good, sir. I'm just gonna open up my my uh, armor and just drop them in. I'm just kind of like throw them in, and then okay. just close the pouch again and make it go skin tight. Okay, sounds that good. Safe for later. Boys, like anything else guy. for you? I don't know. Um. Well. I'm broke, so no. Same. Love this shop, though. It's wonderful. Yeah, turn to them one the by one way. and point. And just kind of go, ale, ale, ale. We know it. I suppose so. Well, actually, we should probably be headed to the elder meeting. Just kind of stalled quite a bit. Young Bran here looks like he's uh, slightly nervous. Perhaps an ale or two will calm him down. And kind of like bump him a bit and then guide him out the room. Old man, where's the nearest pub? And he, uh, the, the wizard looks over and goes, oh, uh, that's going to be off in the direction of the, uh, of the castle. Uh, probably six or seven doors down if I, my, old mem my old memory is correct. I haven't left this shop in three years. Oh my. Um, and for- Would you like to join us for a drink? No, who will watch the shop? The same person that was watching it when you were deaf? But that was also me. Didn't help then, won't help now. To the tavern. <laughs> He's gonna kind of walk off again. <laughs> the wizard kind of he 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 inches to the door and he looks outside and he goes, "I haven't been outside in years. This is different." <laughs> <laughs> is he coming with us? <laughs> he just goes, <laughs> "You know what? <laughs> Fuck it, I'll join you." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he he puts his hand after you all walk out. He puts his hand on the top of the door frame, and a magical wall just kind of shimmers down. <laughs> 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 can tell oh, you. So, so the wizard's joining you guys for a drink at the pub. Nice. All right. Oh, before, to the pub. before we get in there, like as we get to the door of the tavern, I'm just going to be like, heads up, guys. While you are all shopping, I did some research. <laughs> Go on. So I was uh, out making friends and I overheard a conversation. Making friends, he says. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, overheard a guard that was on his break talking about um, 
a couple of their more experienced, like hunters, somehow also switched bodies, and there is a wizard uh, that found a way to reverse it and prevent it happening again. I'm just going to look at the wizard that we're walking with. Is that you? What? What are we talking about? Never mind. Probably not. I think you're probably talking about the, 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 the other wizard in the castle. He's, uh -huh. mu he's, he's much younger than I am, but he's definitely more powerful. I just sell mm. trinkets. Wonderful trinkets. He is nothing know. compared to you. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he blushes and just goes, oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> he would join us for a drink. You're better. You guys are a bad influence on this old man. <laughs> <laughs> we are. <laughs> right. So you guys get get to the uh, the pub that he was mentioning, and you you walk in, and uh, people who have seen the wizard before and be like, "You're out of your building. What's going on?" He's tying one on with us. <laughs> Let's get into it. And I just kind of like <laughs> grab out a gold piece and just like and, and, and everybody that the knows them is like, "Good on you!" Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess I get a beer as well, though. I mean, if the drinks uh, are on, Gary is. Yeah, I'm gonna start a tab of a gold piece <laughs> and just let's start this. Get food, oh, yeah. get drinks. Let's get going. One ale, put it on his tab. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look at them and be like, "It's been a long time since we've drank together, guys. Remember yeah. the last time?" Did we not drink at the inn when we started this new journey? When we met each other. No, I mean like a few days ago. Did we not? Oh, we did. What were you doing? I don't think we did, did we? We all kind of just woke up mm -hmm. and was like... Yeah, I didn't drink. In a state of panic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what I are we doing? Why did... you started drinking when you met your son, Eric. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Ugh, <laughs> sh a shiver went down my spine. <laughs> Thank right, you, so I'm not take a yeah. seat from a drink. I'm not convinced that one's fine. That one, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not that one. <laughs> How many more are there? None, or at least none that I'm convinced are mine. <laughs> it's not very reassuring. Is it? The DM will remember this. <laughs> <laughs> just, I don't you know. You just did go to a brothel after all. True. Uh, not again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm not. Uh, you guys all sit down. Uh, the wizard's next to you, and he's like, "You know what? These are all on me." And he gets all of you, uh, all of you, a pint. Hey, oh, hey, for that. Love it. Uh -oh. Absolutely. I'm about, about, about this. I'm gonna scout the place. But who's around us? What's going on? It just all the normal townspeople. You see the the bartender behind the counter that brought you guys your drink. Uh, it just looks like a normal pub. Uh, nothing out of place. And the wizard holds up his pint and he goes, "Cheers to leaving my house for the first time in three years." Hey, hey! Yes. <laughs> and he just he, he he drinks and he just continues to drink and continues to drink and just the entire pint is just gone. Skills. As he slams the glass All right. down, I'm just going to grab his cup, flip mine in its place, yeah. barkeep another. <laughs> and the barkeep brings Let over another one. And uh, wizard sees another pint be put in front of him. He goes, I am still thirsty. And he just looks straight ahead at you guys for a second and just... And you see the bubble, bubble come out of his mouth and float. <laughs> when was the last time you had a drink? Um, um, what what year is this? How old am I? I think the last time I had a drink, it was in my 30s. A long time ago, old man. Yeah, I'm 206 <laughs> now, so about 170 years ago. You might want to chill out down in those pines. Yeah. <laughs> Nonsense. Another. Let's keep pace, and, and he, I'm gonna slam one his, back now. Yeah, and he he flicks a silver over to the uh, to the barkeep, and he brings over another round of pints, and he just continues oh, to drink. 
So I, I'm uh, gonna, we've been keeping up with him. I'm, I'm going to attempt to keep gonna, pace. I'm going to try to keep me pace. A constitution check, please. Oh. <laughs> As we're slowly drinking, I'm just going to lean towards Eric again and be like, "You may want to heal the old man. It'd be really awkward if he died when he was drinking with us." Very true. I kind of lean back and then continue drinking. I'll do that. <laughs> if he needs it, um, we will. All right. Constitution. Um, is I rolled a 19. Okay, you're still good. <laughs> Nat 20. 20. All right, oh, you're nice. still good. I got 20, but not that. You're still good, Garius. <laughs> 23. You're good, too. All right. Damn. He flicks over another silver, gets another round, and I got to roll for the wizard, actually. I want, like, a montage of us drinking with this guy. Yeah. Okay, so this, is, this is now the third, fourth. Third? fourth round. Fourth round. Uh, So everybody roll me another constitution check, please. Oh, my God. He's it's still the montage good. of, like... He us just drinking and then a bar Ooh. fight and then us drinking with the guy we're in a bar fight with yeah, and then going 22. to meet the elders yeah. this is such a bad situation it's like I the lenny it, mission from red dead redemption 2. yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Eric, for some reason piano man starts that playing in the background <laughs> i got i got a 10. okay so you're you're starting to feel uh, uh -oh. you're starting to feel drunk uh garius and oman <laughs> 22. 22. Okay, you. Okay, oh. so Brand, Garius, and Oman, and the wizard are still good. I am, <laughs> at this point. Is just... <sighs> at this point, I am a confident drunk, and I am going to get up and play some music for the tavern. Yeah! All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. He, he, gets it, he gets up onto a, a bar stool in the corner and just whips out his guitar and just starts playing. Uh, wizard flicks That's another silver now. over at the bartender. Round five. Everybody roll their constitution checks. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Not 20. I just got a not 20. Nice. Yay. I got, I got 16. 24. 24. Yeah, which is a 24. All right. I got 16. I got a 17. 17. And Gary, what's your roll? 24. 24. Okay, awesome. All right. Steve, so you're, you're starting to come back a little bit for your second win. Uh, the wizard, however, the oh, no. wizard looks up from this fifth round, and he's got actual like more bubbles coming out of his ears now. <laughs> while while playing my music, I am gonna slide in some bardic inspiration to keep him going. <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of shakes his head a little bit, and he goes another, and flicks another silver at the barkeep. Round six, here we go. Oh Jesus! Oh, that's uh, uh, I need, I need twenty-one. Const Hold on, I need Constitution saves with disadvantage now. Oh, oh no! no that's a not one. That's a Wait, I got a nat 20. I got a nat 20 and a 19. All right, okay. so it's a 19. 17 and a 1. All right. <laughs> 19 for me. 15. Okay, so uh, Oban and Garius and Eric is still feeling strong. Uh, Wizard's still a little tipsy. Brand passes out on the floor. I was, like, yeah. completely fine, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> doosh. At Wizard that point, I... Wizard looks down at you and goes lightweight, slams the table, and now that inflicts another silver. Nice. At, at that point, as Bran falls, I'm just gonna like stop, watch him hit the deck. Hey! 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 <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna slip into diddling, dun, dun, another one bites the dust. <laughs> All right, can one... I chuck levitate onto? Uh, Eric and like, make him spin into the air as he's doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like right. some uh, Bon Jovi video where he's like yeah. in the air, like, yeah. <laughs> You're a All goofy right. goober. <laughs> One last constitution save with disadvantage, everybody. Do I have okay. to do it as well, or do no, I get you're to drink? Out. You're passed passed out. Somebody out. heal me. Somebody give me a potion. I want to crack on. Potion? You're passed you're out passed drunk. Out. Oh. I'll drink it. <laughs> Eleven. You drink anything, okay. yeah. Um, before you do that, <laughs> knowing we're on the edge, I'm gonna summon Raven's Talon, so you all get advantage on checks, which means it's just hey. a straight roll again. Okay. Oh. Straight constitution Dude, I, roll. Then. I rolled a seventeen and a nineteen. I'm good either way. Okay. <laughs> I forgot my, I forgot my first, my higher one. Call it, call it 15. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> All right. You can handle your beer. All right. 
So the wizard, the wizard <laughs> kind of looks down. It's like he looks down at Bran. He's like, I think I'll join him for a nap. And just get, <laughs> he, he doesn't fall. He like crawls down onto the ground and gets in like the little spoon position beside Bran and just passes and falls asleep. <laughs> and the, the bartender looks over to you guys and go, "You cut off." <laughs> That's probably yeah. Well, <coughs> let's say we get our friend back to his shop. Just yeah. quickly, Eric. Your brand talking to the small one. Yeah. Did you hear anything else from that guard that we need to know? Only that. Only that there were some of the guards that had changed bodies and the wizard could prevent it. Mm. <laughs> Fuck it. We're fine. We handled it. It's kinda like walk off. You know, mm. As you guys are grab talking, little man uh, and throw over my shoulder. Big big rock and little rock point their heads in the door <clears throat> and just go, You guys fucking done yet? <laughs> <laughs> and, and Little Rock sees Bran and the wizard pass out on the ground and just points his face. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Bran is so silly. I suppose we. The real probably... question is, Rock, why haven't you started yet? I'm gonna stare at him. He, like he takes both <laughs> hands and just points at the child sitting next to him. He goes, <laughs> babysitting. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Am I waking up at yeah, any I'm... point? Like, do I? <laughs> do I wake you? No, you're past. No, 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 no. You know what? Passed, you know no, what? You're gonna have to be carried out of here. <laughs> you know what? Before before we try that, I'm just gonna lean over Bran, crouch down, and just flatten the hand and give him a good old monk slap to try to wake him up. <laughs> All right, so there's no save hey, against DM. this. DM. <laughs> yes. I have a question because you did mention that our good friend Oman was on medication. Yeah. He yeah, he did. Oh. It had an effect on him. Oh. Not yet. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Oh boy! Don't worry. I really want to carry two of the I three have people notes. into the <laughs> oh, guys' no. and just be like, "We are the saviors." Drop me from the saviors. No. Okay. So who's who's taking Bran? Who's taking the wizard? Uh, I'm trying to wake up Bran with a monk slap. Oh, that's right. Okay. Um, yeah. I need you to straight roll damage for an unarmed strike. Beautiful. She's gonna um, kill him. <laughs> by the way, I, sh I, I should also mention uh, I am immune to poisons, just as a forewarning. Yeah. Okay. I know, fuck. I know you are. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, that is uh, twelve points of damage. Damn. Oh. <laughs> a lot of damage. All right. Um, <laughs> can you roll? Roll me a percentile, please. A centile. Yeah. <laughs> Uno momento. The rare percentile. This is, excellent. Roll. This is a seventy-three. Seventy-three. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you 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 don't react to the slap, but your eyes kind of flutter open, and you just you realize you're still in the tavern <laughs> on on the floor, and there's uh there's a wizard. You're spooning a wizard. <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> and you feel a little bit of heat on your cheek. <laughs> My jaw hurts. Weird. Oh my. <laughs> well, let's go we slowly probably... get up. And uh, cast heal on myself and get rid of any effects that I've had from the slap and the drink. Yeah. Uh, this time the wizard's still cur curled up in like fetal position, just snoring away. Bubbles still coming out of his ears. <laughs> Do we leave him? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm about... As you as you go to cast heal, I'm gonna quickly look at you and go, "You share, or you don't get your toys." I'm going to cast Counterspell at 5th level. Perfect. I want him drunk. <laughs> Perfect. 
<laughs> All right, so I'm still drunk. So, Brand, you're <laughs> super wobbly still. Uh, the rest of you, oh, actually, Oman, you're not. Wait, but, uh, wait, Darius and Eric, wait, you're a little bit hold on. That much. When he tried to counterattack, since that's someone targeting an ally, can I use Sentinel to try to stop him from using his counter spell? No. <laughs> 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 We're just going full combat in here. Right <laughs> you guys are fighting each other. You guys are the main bosses now. Battle Royale, last man standing wins. <laughs> no. All right. Uh, okay, so Brand is super drunk. Eric and Garius are a little bit tipsy. Oman, you rolled really good, so you're basically just immune to this alcohol. <laughs> Oman, carry the old man. <laughs> 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 can do. I just gonna look at it like. I, I <laughs> Brian, I'm just okay, gonna. So... I'm just gonna pick him up and walk out. Okay, so the four of you walk out. Uh, Big Rock looks over to Bran and just starts shaking his head. <laughs> you have a child. <laughs> no, you have the child. <laughs> <laughs> Darius is gonna be like, oh snap, as he walks out. <laughs> Big Rock just is like, oh, if this kid was not here right now, I would kick your ass. <laughs> do it anyway. <laughs> he just looks down at Little Rock. Do you do you mind if I uh, beat the crap out of your uncle for a little bit? <laughs> and Little Rock just goes, <laughs> <laughs> thanks. <laughs> All right, hold on a second. I got to pull up the sorcerer spell list real quick. <laughs> can I do something as I hear that? Uh, you can try. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to grab hold of Little Rock and be like, come here, little guy. And I'm going to turn around to him and be like, everybody, hold on. And I'm going to cast reverse gravity. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Um... Everybody roll. roll the same, I guess. Why? Uh, I'm gonna I'm try drunk. and react with levitate and just keep myself in the air. Okay. I'm gonna try and ignore it. I don't think I can do. Have you I'm just holding the entire here. tavern. Yeah. So <laughs> he's got radius. It goes hundred feet. Anything. You just start floating while holding the wizard. The curious is just kind of levitating in place, and I guess D, you have to roll the dexterity save for it. <laughs> Well, little guy, it's all he's said, hold on. Fourteen. I said share with everyone and all you right, can you do what the you want. You save and you just start kind of floating away. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know I'd like, to, I'd like to think you're still playing your guitar as yeah. you loot as you're going up. up. And yeah. he's buying a stairway. <laughs> Brandon. Brand Brandon Little Rock, are, like Brandon's just holding on to Little Rock, not even moving. They're just kind of cartwheeling upwards, not even trying to hold on. To anything. Uh, big Big Rock uh, also fails the deck save and is floating. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what is this session? Um, DM. So, <laughs> what happens to the rest of the tavern in the hundred foot radius of the spell that just went off? And all the tables. <laughs> You hear, you hear screaming all the coming inside the the tavern and just like, what's going on? As people start hitting the ceiling. Oh no. So we're all just floating like next to each other right now, right? Yeah, you're all just floating just, next to each other. Except for Garius, who's just like a foot above the ground, just levitating. I'm just going to look at everybody. Look at us. Bunch of jackasses. <laughs> Brand, when we get down, I am going to kick your ass so All right. hard. All right, so Big Rock yells to Garius, catch the little one, and casts Dispel Magic and ends the spell, and everyone ah. starts falling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Such a body a, pooper. Do I catch him, or do I have to try for it? Uh, roll, roll a dex save. <laughs> this episode, the death of Baby Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Thirteen. Okay, you you managed to catch him. He doesn't hit the ground. Uh, and then I need everybody else who is in the air to roll deck saves as well, please. Yep. Uh, Brand, you're rolling with disadvantage because you're a okay. Drunk. 
But I also get uh, a plus one to all my saves. Yeah. Because my new uh, fancy ring. Yep. Ooh. Eleven. All right. Uh, so. <laughs> I got eleven as well. All right. Both Ooh. of you fall flat on your asses and take seven points of damage. That's fair. And then Oman. <laughs> uh, I roll a thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, with. Uh, I've also got slow fall though. You got slow fall. Okay, so you're fine. Yeah. Uh, you you land on your feet a little rough with the wizard still, but uh, you you still land it. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to think what. Uh, we were supposed to come in here and meet a council and do the right thing. Instead, I've terrorized a small shop. You flipped a tavern. We've gotten yeah. their one main sorcerer shop drunk. <laughs> All right. You terrorized so, the small. What happened? So big, big rock. After everybody's back on the ground, uh, just points a finger at Bran and uses power word stun. <laughs> 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 it's just I a st- Petrificus Totalis, and Bran just hey! falls backwards. <laughs> 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 As I'm holding Baby Rock, I'm just going to look at him and be like, I'll allow it. And just not do anything. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna, Rock, uh... Big Rock's just going to grab Bran by the foot and just drag him back to the, <laughs> the magic shop so he can go drop the wizard off. Oh, my God. Love it. All right, when we get there, right, I'm well, going to... Um... No, go I'm just going to flick a gold piece to the tavern owner. Okay. That... But, yeah, before Sorry. Back. And just like flick him a gold piece. Yep. Okay. All right. So you guys make your way back to the um, to the magic shop with the wizard. Yep. And nice. He, there's still the barrier on the door, right? Good job remembering. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try to wake up the wizard gently. Uh, uh, he, he just kind of and he just moves his hand around, and be like, five more minutes. <laughs> We should probably bring him with us if we can't get him in. True. Sure. It's true. Sure. Can't really, it's true. We, can't what up, we can't show up to a meeting with of the elders with half of us drunk holding an unconscious wizard that they'll recognize. Well, he's waiting for at, us. At and I'm going like, to like come to say that, on the that Oman, as you say that, the wizard hiccups and the barrier disappears. <laughs> oh thank Christ! I'm gonna bring him in. To be fair, Oman, is it better if we take the 200 year old drunk wizard and make sure he's alive, or have the council realize that we killed their 200 year old drunk wizard by leaving him alone? Barriers down. We're fine. Let's go for a nap. You're still petrified, Brad. You can still Let's see. Let's go but... for a nap. <laughs> <laughs> I say. Rock drags you inside and just says, "Let's bring the wizard in. We get, we have to we have to do something about the drunkenness and the stupidness." Yep. Um, Let's. Can I walk up to the wall of potions, of. grab a basic healing potion, mm-hmm. and just feed it to the old wizard? Yes. I'll and he, do he, that to try uh, and revive He's him. like, oh, it's another pint. And, <laughs> 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 and he kind of wakes up and sits up and he goes, what happened? Why are we back here? I thought we were drinking. Night's over. It was a good we night. Were. You lost until the end. It was, it great. was a good night. Oh, okay. Why it was is a the, good night. Why is the druid on the floor? He misbehaved. <laughs> misbehaved. I suppose that's He fair. couldn't hold his ale. Oh, what I was this wizard's name, by the way? I have something for this. Hold on a second. And he goes behind the counter. No, 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 no. Leave him like that. It's easier. Are you sure? He'll like, learn the hard way. White. Okay. <laughs> um. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, he still goes. Yeah, what was the this guy's name? And he uh, just a second, sorry. We uh, haven't asked it. He goes. Uh, he still goes behind the counter, and um, 
he hands each of you a small vial and he goes, if any of you are still feeling a little drunk, just drink this. Thank you very much. Damn you. Thank you. I'll, uh, I'll take Brands for now and just put it into a pocket and then drink my one. I'm going to save mine because I'm chilling. Okay. Yeah, same. I got a good buzz going. Pretty good. All right. <laughs> you guys are sure you don't want to give one to Bran? <laughs> For now, no. Not yet. Okay. We'll wait. Mean is... Straight to the council, <laughs> stiff as a board. Out of curiosity, has it been roughly four hours? Would I even be able to tell that? Um, It's been close, yeah. Okay. Well, gentlemen... We should probably bid our new friend here farewell. Uh, what is your name? We never even got around to that. Uh, let's see here. Hold on just a second. I had a name written down. I'm going through my notes because <laughs> I almost <laughs> forgot. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where the heck did I love write that we down? tied one on with this guy and never actually asked his name? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. All right, you can just call me Seamus. 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 It's been a pleasure. Thank you for getting me out of this shop for a day. I hope you'll come back soon. We absolutely will. Oh, we will. And, uh, I suppose we'll, uh, I suppose we should be off. Uh, gentlemen, I need to make one last stop before we head to the elder meeting. It should be very quick. Let's do it. The brothel, right? Let's go. <laughs> Is that where you win? I'm not even surprised. Yeah. It was research. <laughs> All right, so you guys are going back to the blacksmith? Yeah, just uh, just stopping in super fast. Poke in. See if All it's right. been four hours. So uh, Big Rock's still dragging Bran across the ground because he's still petrified. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Okay, so you pop your head into the blacksmith and you see him uh, tinkering with the same chess pieces before. Sorry, uh, time's a little fuzzy. Uh, has it been four hours yet? I looks up and he goes, Ah, the half dragon is back. Uh, give me one moment. And he walks to the back and he uh, comes out with your gloves. Uh, and you see uh, every single knuckle has now uh, two and a half inch spikes on it. And says... Ooh. These are adamantine spikes. Go to pierce any dragon hide. Nice. They are beautiful. I'm just going to put them on. Thank you. I will be sure to come back here if I ever need any other work done. These are wonderful. Yes. Make sure you keep them clean. Adamantine stains easily. I will. Thank you. And I guess I'm just going to head out. And uh, what does this do exactly? Uh, I'll, I'll give you some notes in a minute after the session ends. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Alrighty. All I've right. got my new boys. Let's head to the capital or to the elder meeting. Through the council chambers. I'm going to high five the wizard <laughs> and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> Am I able to move yet? No, you're still, you're still, you're still, still being dragged by, by, I'm gonna, please. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. No more reverse gravity in the pub. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody look, fix him. Well, like after big the rock council looks down at him I agree. And he goes, You haven't learned your lesson yet. You get five more minutes. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. <laughs> you know, we could sober him up and then still drag him. That would probably that would that would learn him. That would learn That him. would learn him. That would learn him. <laughs> that would learn him. <laughs> that would learn him. <laughs> Is there a um, like a in this cave, like a big chasm, empty, bottomless chasm somewhere nearby? Like a big <laughs> hill? Oh, there geez, is, there is a well. <laughs> That'll do. Um, can I take him to the well? I'm gonna cast levitate on him, <clears throat> and just hold him head first downwards into the well, and just be like. Wait here, we'll see you after the meeting. And just walk off again? <laughs> I'll allow it. 
<laughs> but as you're casting that <laughs> levitate spell, you draw a crowd of people in. They're like, the fuck is going on? <clears throat> he messed with the tavern. That's a no-go. Mm -hmm. Oh, everybody in the Funny crowd's like, oh, people. say no more, and they just turn and go about their business. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna kind of pull Garrus to the side. Remember that whole, um, they meet with all of us or none of us? It's a little counterproductive. I agree. <laughs> he messed with the tavern. No one messes with ale. I'm sure they'll be fine. All right. But Rock looks over to Oman and he's like, yeah, they did say that, didn't they? I have an easy fix. And he casts uh, Dispel Magic on your Levitate and he just falls into the water at the bottom of the well. And then he just reca he, uh, recasts uh, a Levitation spell and pulls him out uh, and unpetrifies him. Dun does the power word stun. And now Bran's just sitting outside the well, just soaking wet. You guys. <laughs> it was just a little fun. I'm never that drinking one. again. I'm going to give him my little vial of anti-drunk fluid. <laughs> All right. And Bring you, you snap out of your drunkenness. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and I run off. No, I'm joking. 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 I said you snapped out of the drunkenness. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? I'm joking, I'm joking, I don't know. Oh my god. I'm joking. So okay. <laughs> so all of you are in the center of the of the of the city square where the well is, uh, right in the middle of the shopping district, and you're finally all together and not drunk. <laughs> Brand's wet, but can't be helped. <laughs> what are you are you guys heading up to the castle now? We're finally yeah. gonna head up there, I yes. guess. <laughs> We're going to our meeting. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, so uh, you guys make your way through the shopping center. Bran draws looks at his wetness, like he's just dripping, and everybody's like, <laughs> <laughs> And you guys get uh, get to the uh, this stone bridge in front of the castle gates, uh, and you see uh, six guards uh, all standing, just, uh, you know, guarding. <laughs> and you see uh, Surya just uh, talking with one of them. And he looks over at them and waves him over and then sees Bran in the middle of his wave, just... <laughs> Long story. Don't ask. Don't ask. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, um, You'll probably hear about it later. It was his fault, whatever it was. Okay. Uh, so he, he looks over and he says, I've prepped the elders. They're okay with the meeting. Um... You guys can take your time, talk with whatever they want. They'll try to answer your questions, give you some information, but just be warned. There's a lot of secrets that the Order of the Platinum Dragon holds, and if any any of your questions have to deal with those, you probably won't get an answer. Hmm. All right. So about the normal meeting with elders then? Sounds about right. Let's do this. Let's see what we can get. And uh, they, he nods to the guards, and two of them walk over, and they pull the doors forward into you, and uh, let you go in. And uh, right. he just says, Let's head on in. straight through the next set of doors, the elders' chamber is right in the center of the castle. You just go down this hall, center set of doors. Let's check this out. We should probably uh, get there very quickly. I agree. Yeah. So we'll uh -huh. head uh we'll head right there. right there. No detours. Okay. Awesome. All right. So you guys get down the hall and uh, get to the set of doors where there is just a single guard, and uh, he steps out of the way and says, "Go on in. They're expecting you." Well, right. Sorry about the damage. Go first. I, I I shouldn't be the one going first here. Someone someone else. Uh, I feel like the posh one should go first. Is that rock? Not me. <laughs> it's not the sloppy everyone wet is... druid either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everyone is just... So adult everyone is just rock is like wet dog. Areas. Yeah. A adult rock is like, all right, I guess I am dressed the nicest in my, my sorcerer's robes. 
and uh, he just rules through this rule. <laughs> he walks in first, and all of you follow in behind. Uh, as you walk into this room, it's a great big stone tra- uh, chamber. You see huge tapestries hanging from the ceiling that have the symbol of the Order of the Platinum Dragon on them. And in the center of this room is uh, this uh, marble platform with uh, three, uh, three. I guess you could call them thrones, uh, made out of the finest uh uh, the finest wood uh, and craftsmanship that you guys have seen in a long time. Uh, and on top of them are three humans. Uh, they are aged uh, between 60 and 80 uh, in very fine gold and white robes. And uh, each one holds a scepter in their left hand. Uh, and the shapes at the top are all different. Uh, one is a uh, green dragon on the left hand side on the right hand side uh, has a uh, excuse me a black dragon and the one in the center has a red dragon on top of his scepter hello there hello there (laughs) the elders kind of look down at you and kind of as they're looking at you they kind of hover their eyes for a second over Oman and just go so you he's rescued, one of the good ones so you rescued one of our hunters we thank you for this and uh, he tells that you have some information about what's happening at the castle bit of a strange one actually Yeah, we have been across the fog we've passed through it and come out the other way although we're not quite sure how so you so the fog is passable. Mm-hmm. Correct. Why don't you tell us your story before you, we tell us yours? That didn't English very well. <laughs> <laughs> before we like, tell us yours. The elder, holds up a hand. the elder holds up a hand. It's like, we get this all the time. People get nervous around us. <laughs> Just despite what you may have heard, me, guys. we're still people. <laughs> but... You do have to understand that there is information that we cannot share with you because we don't know you, but we will tell you what we can if you tell us what you can. We do not know you, and we have information that we must keep private too. And that is understood. So why don't we work on some good faith and tell us what you can to begin with before we give you all the secrets that we know. The elders uh, look to each other and kind of nod their heads and go, Fair. Well, let's get started with 10 years ago when the fog first appeared. And that's where we're going to end it today. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I had to make a book out and everything. <laughs> and that concludes the shopping episode. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my god. days! What was that? What happened? Why? I what was that know. entire episode? I honestly don't know, but I loved every second of it. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> all about it. Absolutely mm-hmm. all about it. I appreciate oh, the opportunity great. to do some research. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're dead. Bro. It's like one of them. Uh, one of them plays like when you boot up a game and you're like, "Oh, I'm going to do some of the main missions today," and then you end up just doing nothing but running around like a maniac doing stupid yeah. things. <laughs> Oh my Spent God. four hours crafting iron daggers to get your skills up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. At least we made a very oh good God. friend, though. Those yeah. axes are sick. <clears throat> so excited to use those. Way uh, better than my darts. Yeah, I love the fact we got that wizard drunk. I'm so happy that we. <laughs> I <laughs> love that. that. That's I didn't expect for that to happen at all, but. Um, reverse yeah. gravity, either. <laughs> that fucking reverse gravity, man. <laughs> That was that was still amazing though. I, I'm 100 percent happy with this episode. It ex- yeah. it, it extends the story for one more episode, I guess. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Every anime has a shopping episode or a bath scene. We've done one of them now. 
So we're True. halfway through the list. So, Ooh, so can we do the bath scene? Yeah, I was gonna say we have to do a bath <laughs> episode now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, all right, this is a huge By detour. By lore of anime, I... we need to find some female characters and then try and break into their bathhouse. Mm -hmm. That's it's... how it goes. It has anime. to, dude. Yeah. And the bath scene has to be like Shanghai Nights. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I have an idea. I have an idea. This is the, this is gonna be a super meta thing to do, but uh, <laughs> when you guys go to an inn, don't tell next... us. Just show us. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't tell us yet. Don't tell us yet. All right. I got a. I got a really cool I'm idea. Thinking... I'm thinking of Black Clover. They did like a Hot Springs episode, and at the end, you just hear the narrator, and this concludes the obligatory Hot Springs episode. Yeah, that's <laughs> I hadn't noticed it until that episode, and I was like, oh Shit, my god. It does happen in every single one. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't click. Like, even in um, uh, Academia, what's it called? My Hero Academia. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. My, yeah. Yeah, they have it in there too. And I was just like, this is a weird one to have in there. I think there are several yeah, in Naruto. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. You're Not right, yeah. Them shows. <laughs> per Demon Sensor. Slayer has it as well. It's so good. What? Huh? Yeah. Demon Slayer has a bath one as well, yeah. It does. it? I think it does like early on, doesn't it? It's, a, it's like no. a part of the episode. It's not a main part. Am I imagining I don't remember this? that. I'm not seeing it. Show's a little darker than that, I think. I don't yeah. remember. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Jesus. I think yeah, you. I yeah. Well, I'll, I'll read it's the mostly like psychological it. horror, but. Maybe it's a right. Naruto. We're, one we're, we're, we're off it. track here. This is the end of an episode, and we're still <laughs> rambling. So I'm, I'm going to cut it here. I'm just going to say thank you, everybody, so much for watching. As always, uh, we'll hopefully be back to live episodes starting with next week's. Uh, so Yay. Friday, the oh, actually, do we want to plan for Tuesday or we just want to go straight Fridays from now on, guys? Because we've Tuesday. been doing it. Let's, let's try for Tuesday. Let's try for Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay, so Tuesday. Tuesday the sixth, uh, we will hopefully be live, um, and we'll kind of go from there. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Original Human Geek and uh, all of our Twitch pages where we stream occasionally. Even though we haven't streamed together in a long time, we need to do a stream. It's soon. true, we do. Um, I'll feel twenty forty two, guys. Yep, yeah, 2042, and I Made want to be back month. for blood with you guys. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yep. All right. Yep. So, uh, yeah, we will see everybody for next week's live episode. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, and for now, this is Mark, Luke, Steve, Damo, and Dan all signing off. We'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.